Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video and today I'm hungry. It's already past 12. Yeah, it's one It's almost 1 40 p.m. And it's a bright sunny Saturday and I have a burger sitting in the freezer for like a week now and those are the dollar burgers So I'm hungry. I haven't had lunch yet. I have the spicy chicken sandwich I have the classic cheeseburger I have the sausage and cheese biscuit mm, this looks delicious and the barbecue rib sandwich I'm gonna reheat all of them and I'm gonna try and taste it with you guys and we'll see if a dollar burger is worth it so let's get started back and we have our cheeseburger heated and I can actually heat this for only two minutes instead of three because the voltage of my microwave is pretty high and then I left it stand for one minute before I take it out from the microwave so, so when you open it so the bun is pretty it's pretty soft so when you open it so you see the cheese is already melted and it has a pretty decent size um, beef patty at least it is the size of the burger uh, a little bit bigger and yeah is this in half plus I'm not planning to eat the whole thing and itadakimasu hmm I might say that it needs a little more salt I mean I'm not a salty person but for my taste it's it's a little bland for my taste so that is not dry it's tender i want to try it with condiments so i have a backup ketchup here i have mustard and i have cheese so let's break up this cheese i just want to get something that's gonna fit in here and then probably put a little ketchup too See if that will make a big difference, probably. Hmm. Yep. Definitely better with ketchup and cheese. Delicious cheeseburger. Have a spicy chicken sandwich. Our bun with sesame seeds. Bun, I feel like it. Open. So, nothing inside but crispy fried chicken patty. There's a decent amount of chicken. Taste it! Itadakimasu! Look at that! But it's smoking, it's hot. Hmm. She just made in the middle. Definitely tastes like chicken. And the meat is not dry. Hmm. I usually have a tartar sauce. Let's try mayonnaise, please. Condiments really makes a huge difference. Go condiments. <laughs> I'm a small eater, so even if I wanted to finish all these four burgers, there's no way that I can cause. How much is this small? This small, like this small. Oh, so let's move on to the third one. Looks like the cheese are melted. Let's try this one. So make sure that you let it sit in the microwave for one minute before you take it out because it's really hot and yeah I'm very impatient I didn't wait for one minute so that's what I get. 
So this one obviously uses an English muffin. Kind of like it looks like an old person's skin. It's wrinkly. So when you open it, there's the patty and the cheese are all melted. So yeah, this one has a smaller patty compared to the first two. Like the patty smaller than the than the bread. It has more cheese in the cheeseburger, so let's taste like this. And that's how it looks like. Itadakimasu. It's smoking, it's hot. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. This is what I'm most excited about. I think I overheat it because the bottom part gets slightly toasted. Yeah, it's slightly hard now. The taste, yeah, it tastes like sausage and cheese biscuit. But to be honest, whenever we see a dollar food, especially those that we don't expect to be only a dollar, we're always skeptical about it. Just be honest. How do they profit from this? I'm sure the cost of this box is not a dollar, but still, like, I don't know how they do that. So let's move on to our last one. Back with the last one. I'm already full. This one looks kind of wonky. So this is the barbecue rib sandwich, and it's pretty heavy. And I actually just heat it for one minute. They set it. I'm not sure if there's sauce in it. Yeah, I think that's barbecue sauce right there in the bottom. So that's barbecue sauce and then this is the barbecue rib. Pretty decent amount there. That's how it looks like. The bun is soft. moist it's not dry cheers to everyone let's try the one dollar barbecue rib sandwich mm. kidding <laughs> Hmm. This one's really tender and it's really juicy. I'm impressed. I feel like I bought it at least in McDonald's. <laughs> if that's even a good comparison. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but for a dollar, this one, hmm. Of all the four, this is actually the one that I like most. I said earlier I like a sausage and cheese biscuit, but this one beats them all. Barbecue rib sandwich, two thumbs up. I'm already full, so I can't finish it. I'm trying my best. I don't want to waste food. So, I promise I will eat this later, okay? And oh, I didn't get them from the dollar store, I get them from the grocery. So my final verdict for these one dollar burgers, some of them are okay, some of them are good, especially the barbecue rib sandwich. Are they worth a dollar? Yes, definitely they are worth the dollar. I would rather eat that than eat potato chips. I mean, they fill me up and they taste good. Maybe because I'm not a picky eater, so. But for picky eater people, it might be gross and bad and disgusting and nasty, but my taste bad is pretty universal that everything I eat, it's okay. So that's all for today and I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you haven't watched the last video I posted, I put the link up here. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye!